Hey, what's up, what's up, everybody? Nabis and Chinchuki here, and welcome to Basketball from Another Perspective. Yep, I'm back with another video. Today, we're talking Kobe Bryant scoring records that James Harden might take down this season. And that's coming up after the intro. But before that, I hope you guys are doing all right and you're having an amazing day. It's about to get even better because this video is going to be so much fun. Also, if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, James Harden style, taking a double step back and hitting a three-point jump shot, and smash the notification bell and never, ever miss an upload. And with all that being said, stay strapped. I got my IC. Go get yours. And I'll see you after the intro. Let's go. Okay, we are back. So this season, we have all been witnessing James Harden tearing up the scoring boards. It's been nothing short of sensational. James Harden has been amazing with double step backs, hitting three-point jump shots and all that stuff. You know, getting fouled and going to the free throw line 50 times a game. That's been amazing. So I realized that he has passed Kobe in two different scoring records. The first one being most consecutive 30-point games. Uh, Kobe had 17, I believe. And James Harden has about 20 something now, going to the 30 somethings if he can. And the second record is Kobe's uh, most, most points Kobe ever averaged in the month was 43.4. And now James Harden in the month of January of 2019 averaged 43.5 points a game. So that's an amazing uh, accomplishment for James Harden. I know that's very negligible. But still, you have to count that, okay? It's a record. And bear in mind, guys, I'm not saying anyone is better than anyone. I'm not saying James Harden is a better scorer than Kobe. I'm just talking about scoring records that I have seen that James Harden has a high probability or even a chance of breaking. So let's get into those records and I'll give or rather I'll analyze the probability he has of passing uh, any of those records. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first record we want to talk about is Kobe Bryant's career high in points per game, which is 35.4 points a game in the 2005-2006 season when Kobe Bryant just tore up the league in scoring, had 81 points in one game, 62 points in three quarters. You know the story of how it goes. And last time I checked James Harden's scoring average at the time I made this video, is uh, it was 36.3 points per game and James Harden I don't know if he can maintain this intensity till the end of the season but I do not think I can bet against James Harden this season because he's been ex exceptional and he's been very very consistent and I think he has a very high chance of passing Kobe's career high in points per game so what's the probability I give him for uh, taking this record I think he has a 75 percent chance of taking this record i'm giving him 75 percent because i do not know if you can maintain intensity to the end but i think the percentage is this high because i think that james harden has been very consistent so on to the next one okay so the second record i want to talk about is kobe bryant averaging 40 points in a month twice in one season and that was in the 2005 2006 season so james harden of course as we stated has already averaged 40 points in a month in january and that was 43.5 but can he do this two more times in a month i do not think so because even the great michael jordan could not do this okay and i'm not saying that any of these guys are better scorers than michael jordan that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that this is a very difficult thing to accomplish so kudos to uh james harden for even doing this once but you have to bear in mind that the playoffs is also uh, part of it. So if he averages 40 points in the month in May, for instance, during the playoffs, it still counts. So it's not just a regular season. That's why I'm even talking about this. So can he average 40 points a month two more times to pass Kobe? I do not think so. So what's the probability I'm giving James Harden to pass Kobe Bryant in multiple uh, 40 points games per game in the month? I think I give James Harden a 30% chance to do this okay 30 percent chance and i'm really reaching here it could be lower but james harden is on a serious stretch this season so let's see how it goes moving on to the next one okay so the third record we want to talk about is kobe bryant's career high in points in a single game which is of course we all know this 81 points that was in the 2005 2006 
season okay and james harden this season of course has already uh already scored 61 points versus the knicks that is his career high and you know when you're having a season like james harden is having right now at any point you could just go berserk and just get 80 or 70 something whatever the case may be but i do not think james harden has a very high chance of breaking his record and i'll tell you why that's because james harden dribbles the ball a lot okay before he gets the rim or attempts to score he really dribbles the ball a lot you check out kobe bryant kobe bryant could just take one dribble score or take a one power step to the rim and stuff like that and if you go watch the 81 point game you see that kobe bryant didn't dribble the ball that much kobe bryant could just take one dribble pull up uh take two dribbles go get to the hoop and stuff like that and you know of course kobe is more athletic so he had some advantage there james harden just dribbles the ball a lot for me so and he's usually inefficient in those situations though his true shooting percentage is quite high i don't think he has a high chance of breaking his record simply because he dribbles the ball too much but who knows you know at any given point in a season like this you could just go crazy and every single thing you throw up just uh goes in so what's the probability i give james harden to beat this record i give james harden a 55 percent chance to take down uh kobe's 81 point game this season so let's see how it goes and of course i restated that it's this low because i think james harden just dribbles the ball too much but i also have it this high because james harden just gets the free throw line about 50 times a game <laughs> you know so let's see how it goes but i give him a 55 percent chance to pass kobe bryant's amazing 81 point performance okay so the fourth record we want to talk about is the most number of 40 point games by kobe bryant which is 27 in the 2005 2006 season boy was kobe bryant tearing up the scoring boards that year and james harden already this season has 21 40 point games that is unbelievable okay that is just crazy and we still have about 30 plus games to go and he already has 21 40 point games so what's the probability that he's not going to get another seven uh 40 point games this season that probability is very low so i think the probability to pass kobe in this record is very very high and i'm giving uh james harden a 93 percent chance to pass kobe for the most number of 40 point games uh in a season that's kobe's record 27 i think james harden easily passes this but you never know what can happen so i just i put it at 93 so let's move on to the next record the fifth record i want to talk about is the most number of 50 point games in a season by kobe bryant and that is 10 in the 2006 2007 season boy was kobe bryant a monster and james harden already has five and we still have about 30 more uh, games to go so i think james harden has a pretty high chance i'll say just a uh, above average chance of passing kobe bryant's record because he's been clicking with the 48s and the 49s and stuff like that but he hasn't really been clicking with the 50s so i don't know if he can still get six more this season i know when the playoff comes around we do not know if he can maintain this kind of intensity i think it's highly improbable that he gets uh any 50 plus uh point games in the playoffs so i think his best chance to do that is in the regular season and with Chris Paul coming back or if he stays, stays healthy, I do not know if he will have the chance to continue tearing up the scoring boards like he was doing when Chris Paul was on the bench. So, or was injured rather. So I do not know if he can take this record. But uh, what's the probability I'm giving uh, James Harden to pass this record? I give James Harden a 65% chance to pass this record because Chris Paul is going to come back or if he comes back or if he's, he's ready back, he has to stay healthy. So I do not know if he's going to get that chance to go on a scoring tier like he did when Chris Paul was hurt. So let's see how it goes. But I give him a 65% chance to pass Kobe's record for the most number of 50 plus point games in a single season. So the sixth record I want to talk about is the most number of 60 plus point games in a season by kobe bryant and kobe bryant has done this in two different seasons in the 2005 2006 season he did that and in 2006 2007 season 
Kobe Bryant did that also. And James Harden already this season has only won 60 point plus game, okay? So can he get two more to pass Kobe Bryant for most number of 60 plus point games in a season? That is highly improbable, okay? Firstly, I stated previously just now that James Harden has a problem connecting with the 50s, Zoris with the 48s and the 49s. I know Chris Paul is gonna come back or if he's already back, he has to stay healthy, if he stays healthy rather, it's going to be difficult for James Harden to go on that kind of scoring spree. So I do not think that he's getting two more 60 plus point games, but I'm gonna give him a higher percentage to get this than the 50 plus point game because this season uh, getting to 60 plus games is easier than getting 650 plus games. So the probability I'm giving James Harden for passing Kobe Bryant for the most number of 60 plus point games in a season is I think I give him a 70% chance to pass Kobe Bryant for the most number of 60 plus games in a season. So without that being said, let's move on to the place where it starts to get difficult the seventh record we're going to talk about is the most consecutive 50 plus point games in a season by the black mamba kobe bryant which is four in the 2006 2007 season by the way james harden already has 50 points or more in two consecutive games that happened this season so can james harden go on another run where he gets 50 or more points in five consecutive games I do not think so. I do not think James Harden has the will or the mental concentration or the stamina to go through with this. You know, the Black Mamba was a psychopath. That's why he could just take the ball and just do whatever he wanted and win those games. I guess I think he won those four games. And James Harden had, when he had the uh, 50 points or more in two consecutive games, in the third game, he had 48 points. And I think they went to overtime, not sure, so I don't want to set that in stone, but he had 48 points. And as I said, he already has a problem with connecting with the uh, 50s, don't want to hamper on that too much. And of course, no Chris Paul, don't want to hamper on that either. And that's the last time we we'll ever talk about that again, I promise. <laughs> so uh, what is the chance I give Mr. James Harden to pass this record? I give James Harden a 25% chance. And before you start booing me, I do not think that James Harden can go on 50 uh, plus points uh, in five straight games. I do not think he can do that, okay? Uh, I don't think he has will or mental concentration. No knock on James Harden, amazing scorer. I don't think he can do that, but you know what? Who knows? He might just watch this video and be like, you know what? Who the hell is this guy telling me what I can and what I cannot do? Chris Paul, get your ass on the bench. Mike D'Antoni, tell everyone to give me the ball. <laughs> I know what to do. I am a lord and personal savior. I'm going to get you 50 points in five consecutive games and beat the shit out of the Black Mamba's record. And, you know, just take this record from Kobe Bryant. Who the hell is this guy telling me what I can and cannot do? Okay, so let's get to the eighth and final record before we close off on this video. The eighth and final record I want to talk about is the most consecutive 40 point games in the season by the Black Mamba, which is nine in 2003. I think, not setting that in stone, but I think it is in 2003. And James Harden this season had five straight games where he had 40 or more points in a game. And can James Harden go 10 straight games with, where he has 40 uh, plus points in the game? <laughs> I do not think so. But I'm, I'm willing to give him a slightly higher percentage than the former just mentioned, which is most consecutive number of 50 plus games in a season. Uh, I do not think that he can break this record getting 10 straight uh, man kobe bryant was a psychopath <laughs> this guy had some insane mental concentration so uh i do not think i take his record but let's just get straight to the probability i give james harden a slightly higher probability than the former i just stated i give him a 30 percent chance to do this i think the previous match i watched they had 43 points so uh versus utah i think yeah so can you get nine more games i'll be counting from now on so mr james harden let's see if you can get this let's see if you have enough mamba here 
to get this record. And with all that being said, we have made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this far and I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. And of course, you know that if you have any reservations or there's anything I might have missed, you can always leave it in the comments section. And of course, we can all learn from each other very important stuff. And of course, you know that I'll read every single one of them. I guarantee that. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, James Harden style, hitting a three point jump shot with a double step back and smash the notification bell with some mamba intensity like share that always helps out this channel and check out the other contents we have on this channel lots of fun stuff and of course trust me when i say this i will see you very soon in the next video peace out